in life you gotta turn negatives into a positive which is what we're gonna be doing today because unfortunately my helios 44m6 lens broke in half when i was trying to unscrew a filter off of it so today we're gonna be turning this broken lens into a tilt shift lens and we're gonna be turning it into a macro lens just by using gaffer tape all right like i said all you're gonna need is some gaffer tape to do this project and a broken lens. I wouldn't recommend just breaking a lens just to do this if, unless if you have like some cheap primes laying around. But if you have some broken lenses laying around, which I just didn't want to throw this away because the Helios lenses are, you know, very iconic vintage lenses that a lot of people love. And even though they do give off a unique look, they are also kind of like, kind of too mainstream for me. Cause if you're trying to go like in movies like i've seen a couple of movies that actually use this lens just to give it a dream look but when i see it i'm like oh they're using the helios lens because it has like such a unique property to it so by like doing these different tilt lens and macro lens with this lens we're actually going to take its unique pr property and we're going to like make it even more unique and we're going to add our own flavor to it all right so if we're doing the tilt shift lens first what we're going to do is we're gonna take our lens and we're gonna set the aperture to the maximum opening, as you can see right here. You have to set that manually, because at least with this lens, if I move this lens around, as you can see, the it just starts closing it up. So we wanna just tape this to make sure that it just stays open the whole time. So we're gonna start out with just putting some tape on that little dial right there. We're gonna take some tape and we're gonna put it right here after opening it all the way. We're just gonna take the tiniest piece of tape and we're just gonna place it right here. Which is very important, otherwise, while you're using it, it will just like open up, close up all the way, and your, your picture will just be dark. And I'm just gonna keep it open all the way so that we get the maximum amount of light with this lens. This is the Helios lens, it has a, I believe it's a 2.0 aperture with this lens. But, okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the, the lens holder and we're gonna place it in there slightly tilted. Not too much tilted, because if it's too tilted, then what happens is that you just get heavy vignetting on one side. So we're just gonna put a little bit of tilt to it. And we're pretty much just gonna start taping it up. <laughs> That's literally all you have to do. One thing to keep in mind is that you're not gonna be able to um, change the aperture or the or the focus with this lens. So you kinda have to move it back and forth, which sucks, but it's just a little DI project, DYI project. I'm just gonna tape this up. Make it look all pretty. Should I go to a professional set using this? They'll appreciate it. But this will give you a very unique look. And from the tests I have done, it gives you like insane flares. And it just gives you like a very like unique look to it. And if you're trying to do something that's completely different than what everyone else is doing, you know, this is a great way. But, um, okay. That should be good. I think we just got our tilt shift in the lens. So, okay, let's test it out now. All right, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, once I get up close to it, then I can see myself. But as you can see, once you go from left to right, you start, like, going out of focus. And that's because the, the focus is not just back and forth. It's left to right also, so you get like a very cool look. Like you can just do some like crazy close up to like a short movie or something. Okay, I'll even like use like a feature length movie. Okay, you get like such smooth, dreamy bokeh with this, as you can see. All right, now I'm gonna go outside and take some pictures with this, and we'll see how those look. <laughs> So with the tilt shift lens, actually depending on how you place the lens, you get different areas of the screen that's out of focus. 
Like if you make it so that it's slightly lifted up on the left side, then the right side will actually end up being out of focus. And in my case, I actually had it tilted up so the bottom part of the images were out of focus. All right, now we're gonna do something way more useful, which is what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this broken lens into a macro lens. And for this one, at least for this lens, we don't need the tape on the bottom anymore because we're gonna be putting the lens upside down actually. So we're gonna be placing it like this, so which means we can actually control the aperture manually from here. So we don't have to worry about taping it unless we wanna keep it at a certain aperture. But for this, this is extremely easy. We're just gonna put it like this, upside down, and we're gonna take our tape, and we're just gonna tape it upside down. <laughs> Which again, this is very stupid, but I mean, it, it works, you know, it just turns this lens into a macro lens. <laughs> just, that's just how physics work. We're doing science right here. All right guys, we're scientists now. We're no longer photographers or videographers. We're scientists, we're making our own gear. We're engineers. And voila, look at that. Are we f***ing geniuses, dude? Come on, look at that. Come on, you don't need to spend thousands of dollars buying a new macro lens. Now we got our own macro lens. So let's put this on this camera and see what kind of pictures we can take. So anyways guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it and check out my other videos. I make videos every single week, so I'll see you guys in the next video.